What is Toem? Um, Toem in the game is a phenomenon. And I can't really say more than that because it's the whole premise of the game. But essentially you're you're chasing this phenomenon called Toem. So the origin of Toem, uh, it's a very, very special origin to both me and Lucas, the other co-founder, because uh, it was back in 2018, I think, and we were studying the same university together. I was uh, one year above him, but we were very good friends. We have met on a game jam. And we were just talking a super serious conversation about should we even make games? Like we were totally in it. Like, okay, let's let's quit. Let's never do this again. Or should we? And while we were having this serious conversation, Lucas was sketching. And a really cool sketch appeared from our cool uh, serious conversation. And it actually was the origin for Toem. He had doodled out some lines and some characters and some uh, blocky squared scenes with arrows between. I'm like, wow, this is, wow, there's something here that's super cool. So we, we created a prototype and we actually sent it into a local game festival, I mean, local game competition called Game Concept Challenge. And we ended up winning. Uh, so we were like, wow, we need, we need to do this now. Let's form a company. Let's figure it out. And that's how Toem started. That uh, wow, that trailer is uh, is older than I remember. <laughs> Games are so iterative, and we'll change. We have changed everything. For example, like there's no more fishing in the game. You can't you can't fish in that way that you do in the trailer because we didn't make it didn't make any more sense to have it anywhere else in the game for you except that occasion to just fish up a sock so <laughs> we, we scrapped that but you fish in the game in other things uh with other means i would guess spoilers but uh, wow uh many things have changed uh but it's fun to see like it, it goes so fast by all the months and when you're in it and developing it and like in the moment you can't see these things uh, but damn, it looks be beautiful as usual, but some some things in there are old. <laughs> One of the things that stand out from Toem that maybe people don't realize is that the default, or I mean the only current movement scheme is actually point and click. So you use the mouse and point around, and you also do that with a gamepad. We're looking into adding like a more traditional direct input thing. But right now it's point and click actually. So here you see the player going around in his album, liking things as you will do most of the time and bringing up the camera interface, zooming and photographing the snail. Because in Tome there's actually a compendium which are shown here where you can photograph things from each region. So this is a small collectathon, I guess, or collectibles in the game. And 
Here's a simple character in the game that lost his favorite sock and is asking the player to help him find it. Or not even asking, just telling him or her. And you can inspect the quest, the quest logs to keep track of things. And what you do in Tome is that you need to collect stamps to continue to the next region. So right now the player is just exploring around, finding things to do, photographing creatures, and yeah, just seeing what this region has to offer. And right now he has found the hotel owner, waking her up, and will be prompted with a quest. She wants new material, marketing material for her hotel. So the player is asked to photograph the hotel with the camera and then hand that cam I mean photo in to the hotel owner to be used as marketing materials. So the player is actually the photos the player take is actually incorporated into the gameplay that you actually show it and we register what you're photographing. So here you see when you when the player turns in the photo, you'll see the owner reacting. Like, yeah, that's my hotel. I can see that, but it's it's close. I want a photo that covers the whole hotel. So you go to this vantage point. So I think the biggest thing in Toem is walking around, exploring the different regions, finding things to do and getting stamps. And stamps are, you get stamps by completing various tasks and quests. And when you complete, collected a set amount of stamps, you can traverse to the next region if you want to. And we actually deliberately made more quests in each region that you have uh, to complete. So, for this fort, forest region, there's a requirement of seven stamps to traverse to the next region. But there's maybe like 16 quests. Uh, I'm just taking a number up, but you get the point. You can actually, you don't have to do anything. And that was a deliberate choice we made. So you can ignore the boring quests that you don't like and find other ones and do those instead. I think people who find cute things like wholesome adventures, I mean I'm a big fan of the game Journey, and it's more about the experience and the adventure. And just someone that wants to have a f good time. I mean, in terms of relaxation and feeling content, that's my personal goal, at least with the game, to get someone to feel, oh, this was great, and smile and be happy and enjoy their time and in a more relaxed manner. So now we're skipping forward. Here is the city region, and a small sneak peek of it. It's a, a very distinct one. Hectic people, just like Stockholm. Uh, so let's see what we can uh, do here. So now you need to find customers for the newly hot bean stand. And you do it by equipping this <laughs> bean bean hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
laughing at my own dialogues. <laughs> A mustache, eh? Hmm. that you don't see here is that we'll actually use that photo that you took and put it up on a billboard in the game and it says that in his dialogue but it actually happens as well so you can see your photo in the world and same goes for the photo challenger quests uh, you can actually see them in the world at the his stand there at the camera where are we in the development so Tom right now has passed the alpha stage, so to say, in development terms. And that means that we've done all the mechanics, all of the mechanics are done, and we're simply, simply creating content. So right now we're creating the final piece of the puzzle, which is the mountain region. And that will be the last region for the game. Uh, so we're quite far in, I would say, and we're hoping to have all the quests and things done rather soon, actually, in the coming months. Uh, I will not name any specific dates because it's all iterative. And as I said before, it took us four, four uh, toems, <laughs> I mean, to get here. It seems like we run out of time for today, unfortunately. And I just want to take this moment to thank everyone that's been watching and our whole Discord community for all the lovely comments and also on Twitter and everyone else that's been following Toem ever since the start and commenting and generally like giving us good vibes for it really helps out. So if you, I, I'm just gonna leave you with this. If you haven't joined our Toem Discord server, please do. You can find it on our website, somethingmade.se slash Toem. You can actually find a link there and will probably be links everywhere on the London Games Festival site as well. And thank you so much, by the way, London Games Festival for allowing us a small Swedish game development studio to be a part of this huge festival. It's really cool. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, if you could wish list Tom on Steam, that greatly helps out us for in every way, in every way possible. Um, yeah, and if you're remotely interested in playing Toem, there, uh, there, um, there might be another playtest. But don't so join the Discord and there might be another playtest coming. Might, might. I don't know. We're already been through the alpha playtest, but who knows? There might be another one. So join the Discord, please. And uh, thank you everyone. And yeah. Thanks again. <laughs>